Hello, my lovelies. So, it is late here, but I can't sleep, so I thought I would jump on here real quick and talk about something that has been on my mind for the past few hours. Now, something I want to point out is, you know, when I make a statement on here, it's just my opinion. And I don't want everybody jumping on a wagon. I mean, I'm the last person you should listen to. And saying, well, Miss Lucid said, because this is just my opinion, so I don't want to get sued by anybody. I'm a little bit nervous about saying this person's name. Um, it's another YouTuber who's a lot more famous than I am. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go into the description about what happened without giving the name. And if you figure it out, you comment below. If you don't, well, this YouTuber is not new. She, uh, and she is a she, used to be a DIY creator on YouTube and was very famous for a while for her DIY creations. I never watched her channel because I didn't get into DIYs and I still don't. It's just not my cup of tea. So anyway, so I did not meet this YouTuber or, you know, see her channel back in the day when YouTube was first coming out because I just wasn't into DIY. And honestly, I wasn't really into that much into YouTube. A little bit, but not much. So not someone that I watched, you know. I found out about her through another YouTuber. He did a piece on her about her mental breakdown years ago. And um, he showed clips of things that she did before her breakdown and then during her breakdown. And then somebody made the comment that she was making new videos. So, of course, me being curious, I hopped over there. Because I wanted to see her new videos because they said they were more authentic and more like her. So, you know, I'm all into authenticity and stuff like that. So I was very curious and immediately I loved her content. I didn't look at any of her old content because, like I said, still not into DIYs. But I did love how she was just open and honest and a little bit raunchy, to be honest. But that was just part of her charm. And she lived in a very interesting area, and she told stories about it. And um, she talked about a person who had lived there years ago. I want to speak about her one day on um, my channel, sort of a get ready with me. Uh, Madame Lori. I can't remember her name now. No, not not Madame Lori. It was Madame Marie Delphine Lollary. That was her name. A very hard name to say. It was Madame Delphine Lollary. And she was a very infamous character in New Orleans past. And I would love to talk about her one day, her um what made her so infamous. But that's another discussion for another day. Anyway, but if you ever watch um, American Horror Story, she's on season three. Yeah. She's on season three. And anyway, getting past that, she had a lot of interesting stories to tell her and her husband. They were just really interesting people or at least I found them to be interesting and she did cover about her mental breakdown years back that it really wasn't a mental breakdown that uh, she was just doing it for like shock value but honestly if you do stuff for that kind of shock value I still consider it a mental breakdown because if you come to a place where you're so desperate that you have to do some of the things that she did to get likes, then something's definitely wrong. And, I mean, there was a lot of alcohol abuse and stuff like that. And it just seemed like she was coming from a dark place. Even though she said, no, 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 it's just for shock value. You don't do stuff like that just for shock value unless if something is deeply wrong. Which I know she was going through a hard time. She lost her home and some other stuff. And, um, 
hey, I get it. You know, I do. I, I understand. So, I mean, I don't agree with what she did, and I don't think it justifies it. But she admitted, you know, she said, I was in the wrong. I should have done that. So, I said, well, she's admitting to doing wrong. And, you know, the first step to fixing a mistake is admitting that you have a mistake. That you've made a mistake. That something is wrong in your life. That there is a mistake. So, I applauded her for that. I was like, that takes a lot of bravery and she didn't get mad at the person who kind of did the uh, video on her and the piece on her. She took it with grace and she took it with style. And I applauded her like a lot. I was like, she is really brave. And like I said, she just had a really unique personality that really attracted me a lot to her. And, you know, I was just so interested every time she posted. I was just oh, so interested in what she had to say and just being there and, you know, being a part of her group. So, anyway, she started posting, and um, <laughs> a lot of her posts were really outrageous, funny, um, useful. Uh, she had a lot of insight on YouTubers that I didn't know about. She had a lot of knowledge about the workings of YouTube, and I was just like, wow, this this chick really knows her stuff. I mean, yeah, she went through some stuff. But you know what? Sometimes to know stuff, you have to go through stuff. I've always said that. Um, sometimes hardships bring knowledge. And, you know, only till you've been through stuff can you know stuff. I feel like I said stuff a lot. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, with kind of like with... um support I'm looking for um obstacles when you cross obstacles when you overcome certain obstacles in your life you gain wisdom and knowledge a lot of times so I thought that's a huge obstacle to overcome in life a uh, mental breakdown losing your home you know stuff like that that is huge so she comes with a lot of knowledge and I wouldn't really say wisdom because, like I said, she was a hoot. But she had a pleasant personality. Now, I know many of you know that a lot of these YouTubers are coming out with fans-only pages. And I'm sorry, but it's just a monetized way of doing porno. You pay for porn. A lot of these are porno. I've seen it through other YouTubers. Not actually seen it, but heard them describe it. And that was one thing that caught my eye she would watch some of these fans only and she would describe it to us on her videos and I hate to say it but I watched it I mean I don't really hate to say it but it's a little embarrassing but it was interesting at the same time I mean it was like a guilty pleasure because I would just laugh and laugh and laugh <laughs> so <laughs> I'm terrible right oh gosh um, I'm so going to get roasted of that. But I did. It was entertainment. I'm sorry. I find it entertaining. Now, I would never watch it around my children. But I found it entertaining. And I would laugh and laugh and laugh at this. And uh, just the reaction on her and her husband's face. And, you know, hearing in their voice that they were just... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, this is a touchy subject for me. Anyway... <laughs> Trying to move on with some dignity. They um, would describe what was going on. And a lot of people are coming out with these fans only pages. And I'm hearing a lot of stuff about them. But I'm not paid for that. I'm sorry. I don't like pornography. And, you know, we're all adults here. So I think we could talk about pornography with, you know, a an open mind. And I'll just be honest, I never got into the whole porno scene. It's just not something that, I never did it with a guy. I never watched porno. I never watched pornography with a female. I never watched pornography. So it's just not something that I really, you know, I saw clips from other friends and I, it just didn't do anything for me. And it just, you know, it's not my cup of tea. I know some people, you know, gain enjoyment out of it but I just I don't so there's that and I'm not going to pay money to watch something that I don't even like 
So anyway, given all that, that she has been through this and she does explain suffering from mental illnesses and um, stuff, it just seems like her mental ability is really fragile. Like her self-esteem and uh, she would probably say, no, no, that's not true. But it does seem like there's definitely stuff there. She's got a lot of phobias. And stuff and like I said she went through an online mental breakdown a lot of people saw this and she lost online friends and she was just starting to gain back some of their respect and some of these friendships I know one person who uh, reacted to her apology video to him and he was like I forgive you and I thought she was going good places like I said she is a little raunchy you know and all that stuff but she wasn't too bad so I felt okay watching her videos and stuff like that and supporting her through that. You know, one content creator to another, which I know I'm not really a content creator, but, you know, give me this one thing. So, anyway, I thought I was doing good, that I was helping somebody come back, that I was helping somebody's mental health, that I was doing what my channel kind of supports mental health, that I was doing my part in society to help this woman you know make a comeback I also made that mistake with another youtuber and I thought that they were getting well they suffer for something different and I was a fool I, and in this case I feel like I'm the fool again because in that other case as it's currently going again if you guess who it is you can comment below she's relapsing and she's going downhill very fast. And I'm very scared that she won't be around here in 2022 unless somebody intervenes. And she's like way too young to die. But I'm not her mama and I can't do anything about it. And, um, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that person. Because she is very successful and very rich. And I don't want her to sue me. But you could probably guess who she is without me saying anything. But with this YouTube creator, um, I'm sorry my camera me keeps moving around. I've got it mounted and the mount keeps slipping. So I'm sorry about that. I haven't figured out how to use this mount. So anyway, I'm holding it with my hand too, but I've also got it mounted. I just don't know how to use this mount. So anyway, ignore that. So anyway, going on, um, this YouTube creator got on YouTube today. And announced that she's coming out with a fans only page. And she made it very clear that she's going all out. She's going to do all the raunchy stuff. And if you have anything to request, just request it. And she will do it, baby. She will do it for you. And I'm sure there are plenty of thirsty YouTube watchers out there who are just going to go wild over this. I mean, you know, and she said it at a low price too. I mean, she's... I don't know. Mm. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to sound like I'm judgy. Because I don't want people to say, oh, Miss Lisa just doesn't want people to uh, be able to pay their bills and stuff. Because it has nothing to do with that. I just don't think that with all that's going on with her, that this is really a healthy thing. I think it's going to destroy her sense of well-being. I don't think that it's something that I can condone. So, therefore, I am subscribed. And it broke my heart because I was really rooting for her. And, you know, I'm still rooting for her. I hope that she realizes that this is a mistake and she changes her mind and she doesn't do it. I mean, yeah, working a normal job is hard. I've done it plenty of times. But, you know what? It's better than selling yourself like that. Because that's what she's doing. She's selling herself. She's selling herself to the public. And I know I sound like I'm getting on my soapbox and I'm preaching here. But it's just, and maybe you don't agree, but it's just how I feel about fans only. When they use it for pornography. You are selling yourself. For thirsty YouTube watchers. Who just want to. Oogle your goodies. And she's already said. She's going to put all the goodies out there. So. It was with a heavy heart that I had to unsubscribe. And I was not very happy about that. But I felt that I could not. In good mind. Support that in any form, not through her normal um, uploads, nor definitely not through her fans only. That's not something I want to see. But at the same time, I decided that I couldn't support her 
regular channel because in a by way that's like me saying that I agree with what she's doing and I don't now I mean this may get back to her which I'm just a little nobody and I'm sure she doesn't give you know a shit about what I have to say but I just feel that she crossed raunchy and she landed straight and trashy and I know some people may say, wow, that's really harsh coming from somebody who preaches about uh, mental wellness. But I just don't think this is good for her mental wellness given her past. It's going to devalue her mentally and people are going to say things. Which then again, I may be wrong. Maybe this will lift her up. Maybe people will be like, oh, you're sexy. Girl, you got it going on. Oh, look at that. Whatever. She may get that, you know, boost at first, but I think over time it's going to wear on her conscience because she just seems like the type that it would, and it's going to wear on her self-esteem, and it's going to wear on her self-worth, and I just don't think that that's something that us as women should be doing. Do I believe in occasional sexy photos? Sure, yeah. Ladies, empower yourself. Show off your body, but there's a line that, you know, goes from being empowered and you know the strong beautiful women you are and starting to turn slutty and she crossed it she has crossed it if she does this fans only page she is starting to devalue herself and sell herself short and that breaks my heart because she's a beautiful woman with a beautiful soul and a beautiful body and she just doesn't need to do that and I can't imagine what her husband thinks. He must not value her very much if he thinks it's okay for her to sell herself like this. And I know there are other people on the other side of the argument, and I respect that. So if you have, you know, something to say about how you feel, keep it respectable, keep it classy, and put it down in the comments. And I will actually, you know, listen to and, you know, think about what you're saying because... There's two sides to every argument, two sides to every coin, and I'm not so close-minded that I can't, you know, see both sides. So if you have a good point to make, and don't come on here calling me names because you're going to get deleted, so don't be surprised if you come up here calling me stupid and whatnot, and then I delete your message, don't be surprised. But if you have a good, respectable argument to make, and it makes sense, I will listen and I will even respond. Ask anyone. I respond very quickly and um, I'm very open-minded. You know, you keep it respectable, I'll keep it classy. And um, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you do guess who this person is, you know, that's good for you. If not, just let's just leave it as, you know, leave it at that because I just don't want any trouble. But if she does even care about what her fans are saying and what people are saying that aren't, you know, just thirsty trolls looking for something to look at, then maybe she would reconsider this whole uh, fans-only page. And maybe she won't. Maybe she'll tell us all to go to hell. I don't know. She she is she's a fiery person, you know, with a fiery disposition. And I love her for it. So she may tell us all to take a long walk off a short pier I have no clue but I come from a good place when I say that I just don't think that this is a good idea and that this is best for her mental well-being but once again I'm just one youtuber I'm not even that good at what I do <laughs> and this is just my personal opinion but I want you to know that I think of all of you very highly um, I love hearing your replies and you know you all have great personalities and I love you all, and I want you to make wise decisions. Please don't start selling yourselves on fans-only pages, and I will see you next time. Oh, hey, comment below and let me know what you thought of my wig. I'm so proud of it. It's going to be my Miss Lucid wig, so let me know what you think. Bye.